After a long night of study sessions on Thirsty Thursday, I would go to one of two places. The first, Taco Bell, which we have extensively covered here on the channel. The second being McDonald's. If McDonald's was the choice that night, I would get two bacon, egg, and cheese bagels and four breakfast sausage burritos. I'm not joking. After I learned what calories were, I stopped eating them, but I know that I still wanted them in my life. So today, in the anabolic laboratory, we are making sausage burritos that are over 30% less calories than the real thing and have double the protein. Joshua Weissman already has a fantastic series about making recipes better than their fast food counterpart. I am here to do that today, but also make it much healthier. My name is Nick. I have my master's in exercise physiology and I also make lower calorie recipes and review anything to do health or fitness related. So if you're into that kind of thing, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. So if you're ready to eat your sausage burritos and get shredded too, then let's get into it. Before we get started, just note, from start to finish, we can have this all prepared and done in 20 minutes, probably faster than you can get to your car, get to McDonald's, get to the drive-thru, and get back in your house. I'm gonna start with the vegetables first. Let's just get this out of the way so we don't have to deal with it after our hands are all dirty from the meat. If you notice, in a McDonald's burrito, it has green, red, and clear pieces in it. For the longest, I had no idea what the clear pieces were, but I figured the red and the green were chilies and tomato, and they were. And how did I figure this out? I did research, both on YouTube and off YouTube, how this stuff was made, what ingredients they used, and on McDonald's website themselves, just like for the McChicken we made, I got a lot of the information from there and just tested, tested, and tested. And if you don't have these vegetables, it's not gonna make or break it, but I'm just trying to get it to be as close to the real damn thing as possible. Now, what I did was I cut the tomatoes very thin long ways, and then I cut them very thin the other ways. Onto our green chilies, and I'm gonna use canned green chilies. La Preferita has great products. I actually use their products in the beef five layer as well, but you can use any can you want. All of them are pretty much the same. I'm gonna get about 10 grams out of here. I'm gonna dry it off in the towel. It doesn't have to be completely dry. You still want them to have moisture in it. And then I'm gonna add them to our Petri dish. Now we'll grab another Petri dish. And what were those clear things? I never really knew. After doing research, I realized that they used minced dried onions and they rehydrate them. This is super easy. I got just enough to cover the bottom here. I'm gonna put just enough water to cover up the onions and we're gonna put them in the microwave for 30 seconds. I'm gonna put that off to the side for later and we will get our meat prepped. Now what we're doing makes us over 10 burritos here, okay? So you will have the meat prepped for the week essentially once we're done here. Since we are only a couple minutes from being ready to go, I am going to get both of our burners here on medium low. So as soon as we have everything mixed up, we can just throw it on the pan and start cooking. The faster we eat, the better, right? We will start with 93.7 ground beef. And if you've seen my sausage patty recipe before, this is the exact same mix that we were using from there. So if you already have some mixed up, you are ready to go. If not, our next ingredient is olive oil, five grams. One gram of sage, one gram of ground thyme, six grams of salt, doesn't really matter what salt, 30 grams of Miss Buttersworth sugar-free syrup, eight grams of brown sugar swerve, one gram of black pepper, hopefully fresh cracked, one gram of crushed red pepper, 0.8 grams of nutmeg, but if you don't have a point scale and just have a gram scale, just use one gram, that's all right. One gram of cayenne pepper, one gram of paprika, and then 12 and a half grams of instant non-fat dry milk. Now all we have left to do is mix it up. As Sam the cooking guy says, fat equals flavor. So I will be adding one whole egg to my scrambled eggs while also having two egg whites. We get the best of both worlds, flavor and high protein. 
Usually, whole milk is used in scrambled eggs, but McDonald's decided to go the healthy route even though the sausage is still high calorie, whatever. They use skim milk here, and we're going with 30 grams. Also, based upon my research, they don't use salt or pepper or anything to season the eggs, but I'm not about that life. Why would you not at least put salt and pepper with your eggs? That doesn't make any sense. So I'm adding about a half gram and just a dash of pepper, but if you like more pepper, go right ahead. Now we are ready to mix. Everything is prepped and ready to go. Our pans are nice and hot, but we want to make our scrambled eggs with some butter. I'm gonna go with light butter. And I'm only using three and a half grams, so it's only like 15, 16 uh, calories, something like that, but it's well worth it. And so I'm gonna take this off here and I'm gonna spread it around. And I will take our egg mixture and put it in here. And if this is your first time doing this, go one pan at a time. You can make this a one pan recipe. You'll have to clean the pan when you do the meat or the eggs, however order you wanna go in, doesn't matter. But I know how to do this at this point since I've done this, I don't know, 30 times. First time I would recommend taking your time, but I'm just showing you how fast we can get both going. Now. We wanna get our meat here. It's about 93 grams per serving. And just to the aesthetic, I'm gonna chop this up once it starts to heat up a little bit to get those little tiny balls just like McDonald's has. But in the meantime, I need to be over here moving these eggs around, making sure we're scrambling them and not overcooking them. So while that's going, we're moving these around, moving these around. Sometimes I like to come off just in case they're cooking a little too fast. And once I've got control of the situation, we put this back on here. And when I'm not talking and distracted, this is much easier, but it's not too bad to go back and forth. Break this up real quick. We will come back over here, keep spreading it around. These are almost done, guys. These are ready real quick when you have everything preheated and ready to go. These probably only need another 30 seconds to a minute here. These should still look wet when you take them off. I forgot who said this, but in a video they said, when it looks 15 seconds away from being done, take it off because it's done. And this meat is almost done already too. I'm telling you guys, this goes super quick once you know what you're doing. All right, eggs are done. We're gonna get these off and then or onto a plate. I'm telling you, it smells absolutely gorgeous in here and it's been about 15 minutes since we started. All right, and our meat is done here too as well. Get our burners off and we'll get our meat on a plate. One thing I'm distracted and should have done is I should have thrown the vegetables inside of the eggs when they were about to be done, but that's okay. We'll just top it on, so on top of the burrito. It's not gonna make a difference whatsoever in flavor. We are down to the final few steps. And that first one is to drain this water out of the onions. And just like the chiles, we are going to dry these off a little bit with a towel. And then I'm also gonna add these into our bowl. Now I'm gonna get my parchment paper ready and you'll see why here in a second. So we're gonna get two foot and a half to two foot pieces of parchment paper. We'll put that off to the side. Then we will get our La Banderita tortillas, just like we used in the beefy five layer burrito. We will use these again. These are so damn good. They use insoluble fiber, which <sighs> debatable, you can digest or can't digest but these are only 45 calories per tortilla. Just like with almost any burrito, now it's all about layering. You can make fun of me all you want. We're gonna start with Velveeta cheese. They use processed cheese at McDonald's and I'm trying to make it taste exactly like it. This is gonna get you there. Two slices, which McDonald's only uses half a slice, so we're gonna have extra cheese but we're gonna have one slice on each tortilla. Now we will add our meat and you can guesstimate, these are both your burritos. So use half of this and put the other half on the other one. Same thing with the eggs, guys. We are so close, God. This is just like the McChicken. This is going to taste exactly like the real thing and it's like exciting for me to know that when you taste this, you're gonna be like, holy shit, this tastes exactly like the breakfast sausage burrito. And I can do it just as fast as actually having to go there and probably for just as cheap now that they're like two for $3 or like $2 a piece, you can make them even cheaper at home and way healthier. What I love about these La Banderita tortillas is they're so pliable even without putting them on the stove top, which you usually have to do. So you can just grab these and go. I folded both sides in, we're gonna do one closed. So I folded both sides in about, I don't know, half an inch to an inch and I came up 
and just trap everything in and I try to like slide it under and then roll. Boom. I mean, it looks exactly like it and it's gonna taste exactly like it. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually roll it up inside of the parchment paper. I put it along the corner here, quick fold, and I wrap a little bit of it underneath. I push my finger into the edge of the burrito, fold that over, push into the other end, fold it over, and then all we do is roll. One is ready. Now, if we want an open-faced one, all, oh, I forgot to put my vegetables in that first one, whatever. One will be with veggies, one will be without veggies. That's also okay, because I could have it either way. And we will fold one side only, and then we will fold the other side over, and then the other side over. Now, obviously, that's not as beautiful as it can be, but if you wanna have it open face like this, you can have it like that as well. And this is the same order of operations. In the corner, wrap it under, push against the sides, and we roll. Now, it may come as a shock to most of you, but McDonald's burritos are always super hot, and you wonder how did they get them so hot? The microwave. These are in the parchment paper. I like to put both of them into the microwave for about 45 seconds, and then I let them sit for about two minutes. It makes everything inside about the same temperature. The cheese is melted, and it is absolutely delicious. We are so close, I am so excited. All right, let's get these bad boys on a paper plate. 45 seconds we go, and it's time to eat and go over the macros. Okay, bye. The McDonald's breakfast sausage burrito for just one is 310 calories, 17 fat, 25 carb, and 13 protein. Yeah, not so good. Because who really eats just one? Mine is 222 calories, so almost 100 calories less, 10 fat, 22 carb, or 11 grams of net carbs after the fiber, and 25 grams of protein. Double the protein, almost 100 less calories, and more goodness. I guarantee it. Like I said, who really wants one though? We're gonna eat two of these bad boys for a full meal, and that gives us 444 calories, 19 fat, 43 carb, 21 grams of net carbs, and 50 grams of protein. 444 calories, 50 grams of protein. Please make this, you will love it. Enough talking, it's time to eat. Piping hot, ready to go. And you know they serve it with that picante salsa. And I wasn't going without the picante salsa, come on. This paste picante salsa is literally 95 out of 100 the same taste. The only reason it's different to me is the texture. This is a little bit chunkier and I like my salsa chunkier anyway, so this is perfect. If you're looking for a lookalike, this is it. Let's, let's honestly do one without any salsa first. I mean, what can I say? You see the steam coming out of it. The cheese is melted right into my mouth. The sausage is perfectly cooked as well as the eggs. The shell is nice and soft. This is literally a McDonald's breakfast sausage burrito, but better and healthier. What else do I got to say? Now we will put the salsa on it. Once you add the salsa to it, it's almost impossible to distinguish the difference between this and the McDonald's one. My sausage is a little bit sweeter with the maple syrup that definitely pushes through along with the brown sugar, but it's delicious nonetheless. I would 1000% make this. This is the easiest copycat recipe I have made so far. 20 minutes from start to finish, minimal dishes, and we have multiple burritos of meat ready to go for us for next time. If there's any other copycat recipes you wanna see, let me know. I'm starting on the orange chicken tonight. I got the Panda Express orange chicken sauce, so that will be on the way. Just give me some time because I need to perfect both the sauce and the chicken. But until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do see.